What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and let's get right into it. Diddy, aka Puffy, has officially responded to all the allegations against him, all the lawsuits, and there's a new one that came out today. So that's five in total after the Cassie one. Not only is he responding to all the allegations, but he's also responding to 50 Cent, who keeps attacking him when it comes to all these lawsuits and even is promising to make a documentary revolving around all the stuff that's going around with Diddy. And the documentary title could be Surviving Diddy or Diddy Didn't Do It or all these funny titles that 50's coming up with and is saying that all the proceeds from the documentary will actually go to all the victims. So we'll get into that a little bit later on. But first, let's get into the new lawsuit and allegation. Then let's talk about Diddy's response to 50 and the allegations. And then let's talk about what 50's doing with the documentary. Diddy has broken his silence in the wake of another assault lawsuit being filed against him. He's deemed enough is enough. He's tired of it, man. He's just like R. Kelly in this situation. He's tired of it, man. He can't live with it, man. Why stop attacking this man? What prompted him to release this statement is that the fifth sexual assault lawsuit surfaced today. And Jane Doe has accused Diddy and bad boy former president Harvey Pierre and another man of gang. You know what? Her when she was just 17 years old in 2003. And what's wild about this lawsuit is she actually has photos of that night of her being there. She's actually sitting on Diddy's lap. Uh, she's in the studio taking photos in front of Diddy's studio, in her booth, in the booth, Diddy's booth, whatever. And uh, you can tell, she, you know, she is kind of wearing, you know, a little skirt, blah, blah, blah. So it looks kind of, looks weird, man. It looks like for somebody that's 17 years old, to be involved in that type of situation for Diddy to be okay with it, it is kind of weird. So those photos provide a lot more evidence. So her, her situation is going to be a lot worse and a lot extended further than everybody else's besides Cassie's because I'm sure Cassie has a lot more evidence than everybody else because she's been with Diddy for a long, long time. The court documents allege that Miss Doe met Pierre and the third assailant at a Detroit lounge. After speaking on the phone with Diddy, the three flew to his NYC studio on a private plane later that night. Upon Doe's arrival, the junior in high school was piled with drugs and alcohol. She claims she was, you know what, by Diddy, the unnamed man and Pierre in order. When the three were done, she claims she was left in the bathroom in a fetal position. After regaining her composure, she claims she was escorted to a car and flown back to Michigan. While the accusations are two decades later, Miss Doe supplied photos from that night in the studio sitting on Diddy's lap. However, her face is blurred out for anonymity purposes. So this is the fifth lawsuit in roughly, I want to say two to three weeks. And Diddy is just getting bombarded. And the, the predictions that people were going to come flocking after he settled that Cassie one quickly are right. You know, everybody that predicted it from me to 50 to everybody else that had, you know, something to say about this. Uh, whenever you settle something quick like that, it shows... To other people that they're, you know, hey, you know what, you're you're willing to settle and give people money for them to hush up. Uh, with the Cassie situation, obviously, I'm pretty sure Cass, Cassie has a lot of evidence that would have derailed Diddy a lot. So uh, this is just getting worse and worse as time goes on. Diddy decides to respond officially, not only to everybody, but to the biggest person that's been critiquing, critiquing him, which is 50 Cent. 50 Cent has been going in on him literally every single day. He's actually, I think, the only celebrity that I can name that's attacking Diddy day in and day out and not letting his foot off Diddy's neck. So these responses, I'm, a sh I'm pretty sure, are not only for the allegations, but the 50 as well. This is what he said on Instagram in a statement that he released. And the top, bolded, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Well, 50 responded to the new allegations of that 17-year-old, you know, getting, uh, you know what, he said, my God, 17 was no one off limits. This documentary is going to blow you away. Did he do it or not coming soon? Which is, a, sorry, I'm not supposed to be laughing at a serious situation like this, but that title is hilarious. Did he do it or not? Um, and then continuing on, he posted a clip of someone being interviewed by the Art of Dialogue. And this person that was interviewed was a former bad boy artist. And he said this in the caption, 50 said, all June at film and television proceeds from this documentary will go to the victims of assault and you know what continuing on then 50 you know got covered by tmz about the donations he said this what the fuck at some point you just got to do the right thing 
So 50 is hell bent on making this documentary. And I don't, you know, I see, I can see why I know the history between Diddy and 50, and I will do a documentary on their history, Diddy versus 50. I know you guys wanted that when I said that in the last video. So I will be doing that as a, you know, a documentary later on. I am working on the Diddy $1 million hit documentary. So that's going to be coming out this month. That is the allegations that Diddy, you know, allegedly put out a million dollars to kill Tupac. I am going to be covering that, revealing everything that, that I can find on the internet on that, compiling it together, and putting it in a documentary. So that's going to, you know, do its own thing. And then I'll work on the Diddy versus 50 and then other things uh, down the line. But wild things, man. And Diddy has had enough of it. He said enough is enough. What do you guys think of the statement? I think it's, it's something, but at the end of the day, man, the way, the way it's, I think I, I don't know. I don't think you should do interviews to doing video interviews on this uh, is not going to go well. Uh, recently, the Grammys, apparently there's there's an issue because Diddy was supposed to be at the, this upcoming Grammys that's coming up. And uh, people are, don't want to be seated next to him. People are saying, get him out of the Grammys. We don't want him there. We don't want seats next to him. We want nothing to do with him. And this is how it goes. Usually if you get uh, accused of these things, even without proof, which there hasn't been any official proof that he's done anything. There's been a lot of people that have talked and said and accused, but so far there isn't any official proof. Let's keep that in mind in this situation. There hasn't been any DNA, any photos, videos. Those photos of that girl being there looks crazy. Don't get me wrong. It does. A 17-year-old being in the studio with a bunch of grown men wearing a short skirt like that, that looks crazy in itself but it's still not 100% proof that Diddy did something. So it's 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 interesting to see a bunch of people shift and change and not want to associate with Diddy at all. And this Grammys thing just further proves that. So we'll keep our eye on this, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if 50 actually follows through with the documentary as well. Sometimes he just trolls and likes to get under people's skin. You know, he's talking about wanting to buy Revolt uh, TV from Diddy at a low price because all the sponsors are going to be backing out. Nobody's going to want to associate with Diddy anymore. And uh, that's slowly happening. It seems like a lot more people are distancing themselves from Diddy. So we'll keep our eye on this, man. And let me know what you guys think of Diddy's statement. Do you think he is honestly innocent based off that statement? Because sometimes you can tell just off of statements. And a lot of the words in there are kind of like, eh, you know, we hear that a lot. So we'll keep our eye out and see if Diddy says anything else about the allegations and uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.